guys, uh, so it's been a while since I've done a vlog, vlog, video diary, whatever you want to call it, and in fact the last one I did I was actually wearing this dress. The last vlog I did was on my big brother experience, so that was some time ago, but um, I kind of thought I'd just do one on relating to my birthday because a few people requested for me to just talk about my birthday and I thought I'd tie it in with a bunch of other things. I've been thinking about and doing recently. So, uh, I've been really, really, really busy. Um, to the point where I'm actually filming this video at the moment at 2 o'clock in the morning because it's the only time I have this week to make this video. And the only time, the only reason I'm making it now is because I don't want to put it off so late that I just kind of, everything's a distant memory to me. Uh, about what actually happened on my birthday and everything else. Yeah, I've just had to make this video now uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've just finished work. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I I work at a few different clubs doing door, door work and hostessing and things like that. And before that I was at night school. I'm currently doing a bit of night school, just uh, learning how to sew and make clothes and things and I'm just enjoying it and I don't know what's go what's going to come out of it yet, but I'm just going along with it and it's a lot of fun. And before that I was working and tomorrow I'm working as well and then I'm going to be actually modelling tomorrow night. And then the following day I'm going to be doing drag makeup all day for the drag ball, uh, for Melbourne's drag ball, which is a really big opportunity for me. So yes, I've been flat out busy. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd talk about my birthday first, and believe it or not guys, I am now 24, and it just seems crazy for me. I know it's probably a lot of older people watching this like, 24 is nothing, but I don't know, it just sounds like a big age. <laughs> um, and I don't know what it is about 24, but 24 has always been like a big number for me and I knew that when I'd reach this birthday it would be somewhat a big deal. It's weird, there's a few reasons why, I mean, and one of the reasons why is because 24 is my lucky number, so I always said to myself that year 24 would be a really good year for me, so I'm really hoping that that does come true. And also, I when I was in junior school, I had a really, really hard time and I really connected with one of my teachers in junior school, Miss Van D, and she was 24 when she was teaching me and she was so amazing and she was so inspiring to me as a person and all I could think is, you know when you're a little kid and you think of 24, you think, wow, such an adult, such a grown up. And when I looked at her and she was 24, I was like, Shh, I really hope I'm like her when I'm 24. And I. And I don't know if I am because it was that long ago, but I don't know, 24 has always had a connection with me. Anyway, uh, getting on with it, uh, I think I'll just talk a little bit about my birthday. I have a few uh, videos on my camera that I'll show you from my birthday because I somehow can't upload them onto my computer because I'm that hopeless. Anyway, so firstly I talk about my birthday outfit. So, as many of you know from watching my Getting Ready With Me video, I made my birthday outfit and the most extensive part of making that was this corset. And this corset is... I hope you can see the detail. But, um, it is covered in about a thousand Frosky crystals. And they're all different shades of pastel. And they're all different sizes. And I did all the back as well. And I, I just bought the corset and then I covered it with the crystals and it took forever to glue these on. The amount of romantic comedies that I watched while gluing these stones on, flash dance, notebook, gluing <laughs> rhinestones on this corset. I tell you, it took me forever. And then I uh, made my matching shoes as well with the rhinestones on them. And the skirt as well was a maxi dress that I actually cut up and layered with all these different chiffons and silks that I bought from Lincraft. And the hair extensions, of course, I already had that I made myself. But um, something about my birthday, I really like to go all out and kind of make my outfit and just go that next, that extra step. 
So it's always a lot of fun for me on my birthday just to get dressed up. Uh, on my actual birthday, well, I'll show you a video. <laughs> Basically, all my friends came around and we just had some pre-drinks here and everything. And then this happened. Basically, yeah, I just acted like a complete crazy person. Uh, all my friends came around and we had drinks here and then we went out and we had a big night of it. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty much what I did on the night before my birthday. And then as it turned out, uh, a few days before my actual birthday, I met Justice, which is a... Many, many of you may know them. They're a French duo from, well, France. <laughs> They're a French kind of a DJ duo and uh, they were really, really nice guys and I met them at my work, uh, my night job, and they were kind enough to give me two tickets to see them at Park Life on the day of my birthday, the 6th. And little did I know is that I actually also got VIP tickets, which was awesome. So I got to sit in all the VIP areas and go sit in the VIP tent and everything and it was such a fun day and I had no plans to, for my actual birthday so it was really good to actually do something. So yeah, I just spent the day at Park Life and saw a whole bunch of acts. I saw Nero, I saw Justice, I saw Tame Impala, I saw uh, Robin the list goes on and it was it was really good and then I went to the official after party which was really awesome I went there with Justice as well and yeah we just partied all night and it was just so much fun um like I have a kind of a little video from that I'll show you a little bit of it So yeah, that was during Justice and as you can see there was a lot of people there and it was a really really terrible day actually, it was um, in terms of the weather. Uh, it was hailing all day and yeah, it was really really cold but we made the most of it and we had a good time. I went with my friend Beck and it was really good and yeah, so that was pretty much my birthday. What else I've been up to recently? I've been working a lot and I'll get into a bit of why I've been working a lot soon. So I've been working and I've also been doing a lot of freelance work. I've, I'm going to be doing makeup for the races again this year. I'm going to be doing all the makeup for the drag ball for the staff uh, this year for Melbourne. So basically that involves me going along to the venue and just doing all drag makeup for everyone that works there so it's a pretty big deal for me because I'm going to be the only person doing it and I'm going to be employed on behalf of the club so that's going to be really awesome 
and like I said I've been doing night school as well uh, and then working my night job as well and I've also been doing freelance shoots here and there and I'm modeling as well um, so yeah it's been pretty flat out and of course just the usual trying to blog as much as I can and things and if you guys didn't know I'm also Instagram Instagram is like I'm really addicted to it and my username is Sarah all dot up so if you want to check it out I update it like every single day <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what I've been up to recently so just keeping really really busy which is good and um, next I thought I'd talk about kind of a reflection that I've had since turning 24 and these major milestones in my life kind of happened in three year periods so the first one I flash back to is my 21st birthday and so when I turned 24 I flash back to my 21st birthday and what point I was at in my life when I was 21 I was recently a university graduate I was in a long-term relationship of going on about two years um, I was living in Western Australia still I was living at home I hadn't had a full-time job I um, I guess I was pretty self-reliant on my parents and I hadn't I don't know I I was a strong person but I hadn't really I was still young I was still very young and then when I was 18 so going back another three years when I was 18 I had gone on my first trip to Melbourne I met my first boyfriend who is now engaged and is expecting a baby soon <laughs> so it shows you how much time flies uh, and he lives in the UK um, I was also just yeah just started university and living in a different suburb and what else things were a lot different then like I just started going out just started partying before that I never really did because I wasn't really popular at school so I never really went to like house parties or anything so 18 was a huge year for me like it was a huge shock to my system because I never really dated before I'd never gone to parties before or drank before so yeah 18 was huge 21 was huge as well and now 24 I've been single for about two and a half, three years. I've moved to Melbourne single-handedly. I pretty much started my life again. I've uh, I've worked a lot. I've I've been through a lot. I've I've met a lot of different kinds of people. I've learnt a lot about myself and I've learnt a lot about other people as well. I think I've grown a lot more stronger and I've also become a lot more independent. I've rented my own apartment for the last two and a half years and been financially stable and independent for the last two and a half years. And I don't know. I guess I've changed. I've changed. Um, I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. I think something about me, I don't know. I just, I'm very much a single girl now and it would take a lot for me to be in a serious relationship again uh, and it's, it's pretty crazy to think back just to my 21st birthday and how completely different my life was because it really was and then going back again to my 18th birthday how different my life was so the last three years have been tough they've definitely been tough I've just mainly my experiences with other people and how much they've shaped me and changed me and I feel like now I'm at the point where I've got really amazing people in my life and I'm ready to move forward and kind of just do stuff for myself so I'm really just focusing on myself now and what I want and and just working towards something I I still don't have complete direction in terms of what I want to do I know I want to work in something creative but um as for what exactly that is, I'm not sure. So I'm just taking whatever kind of opportunities go my way. And 
just kind of finishing up this vlog about my life and whatever. Um, so kind of my rough plans for the future, well I'm just working my day job at the moment and the reason that I'm working so much, like I said, and that I have no spare time is number one because I'm cramming in both things that I want to do for the future as well as like day work, just working and I'm doing that so I can save heaps of money because I have plans for next year. I have things that I want to do next year that are going to involve money and I'm not going to say what they are um, but I think they're going to be life changing and I think this is the time for me to do it. So yes, I'm saving as much money as I can and tying in with that, I'm also going to be having another big clear out of my wardrobe and my apartment because I have so much stuff and I'm probably going to be listing them on my big cartel site if not I'm going to be listing them on eBay but I will put the links up on this video when stuff is available and yeah so if you're wondering what I'm saving that money for it's for it's all going towards one big plan that I have for next year and anyway that's pretty much all I have to say. I just kind of want to tell you about my birthday and things. And yeah, so I hope you liked my little video diary. Uh, if you guys like them, let me know. So I'll continue to make them and kind of let you know what I'm up to. If you don't, then that's fine and I'll, I won't make them. But um, just, yeah, let me know and I will make another video for you guys soon. Uh, hopefully I'll be making one on my Halloween experience. I... I have a very unexpected Halloween costume this year and if you guys follow me on Instagram then you know what that is. So uh, until then I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.